Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're going to be talking about a relatively recent study from Caltech about, uh, well, essentially Mars and what's underneath the surface of Mars and the potential discovery that, well, not only is there most likely a lot of oxygen in the actual uh, layers of Martian ground, but it also may have conditions where life could potentially exist. So let's talk a little bit more about this and welcome to What The Math. So despite being relatively intriguing and beautiful, the surface of Mars doesn't really look like a type of a place where you would find life walking around. As a matter of fact, it's very inhospitable. For the most part, this beautiful planet that may have actually had very, very large liquid oceans billions of years ago has now turned into a very large irradiated desert where life would probably not survive for very long um, if you were to just place it on the surface. But that's not to say that the entire planet is that way, and that's also not to say that we can't find places on Mars where life could potentially exist. And so one of the recent studies from Nature Geoscience, um, led by Vlada Stamenkovich uh, from the uh, JPL at NASA, they wanted to investigate if uh, the actual oxidation that is quite visible on the surface of Mars also meant that there is quite a lot of oxygen underneath the surface. In other words, if you were to actually try to land on the surface right now and to then start digging into the uh, layers underneath this rock, so let's just land first. So here am I on the surface. If I were to start uh, digging into the Martian ground, would I actually find large deposits of oxygen and oxidated rocks there as well? And based on what we know about oxidation in general and uh, potential amounts of water that used to be here on the surface, the study suggests that, well, yeah, there is actually plenty of oxygen underneath. As a matter of fact, there might be so much oxygen that it could definitely support life. Now, when it comes to the atmosphere, uh, Martian atmosphere, for the most part, is CO2. Uh, there's a little bit of methane here and trace amounts of oxygen, but really nothing um, that would make make it livable in any way. It's actually very, very, very minute amounts. And in the last few years, the Marsis mission that you see right here that actually orbits the planet and scans the surface, as well as the uh, Curiosity rover that even got to uh, study the samples and also uh, analyze some of the uh, rocks uh, slightly underneath the surface, were able to discover that, well, for the most part, um, there seems to be oxygen pretty much in every sample and that all of the rocks that uh, they studied were very, very oxidized. They basically contained oxygen. And this doesn't really surprise us because if a uh, long time ago this beautiful planet had a lot of water, uh, when the solar rays broke up the water uh, molecules, they created hydrogen, which probably escaped in the atmosphere, but also oxygen that then combined with the rocks and oxidized them. And those rocks over billions of years most likely um, got deposited underneath the layers and essentially all of the Martian layers um, of rocks underneath the surface most likely contain these um, highly oxidated rocks from when there was water. And also not so long ago, Mars's mission also discovered a very, very large underground liquid water lake. So, okay, we have liquid water, we have oxygen in those rocks. That's basically the conditions we need for life here on Earth. And so what these scientists did was essentially study if the, these oxidized rocks and also the liquid water that we discovered could potentially create um, actual conditions similar to the ones on Earth where uh, bacterial life could survive. And the conclusion was that even if Mars was in much, much worse condition than, than it is today, in other words, even if it was drier and more irradiated, um, the rocks and the oxygen and the liquid water and just the water molecules underneath the surface are more than enough for any kind of aerobic bacteria to survive quite easily. As a matter of fact, and this is really sort of mind-blowing, they discovered that um, underneath all of this sort of deathly looking desert stuff, um, the conditions are in some way even similar to early conditions of oceans on Earth. The actual salinity levels, the water, the oxygen, and overall this subsurface environment has more than enough oxygen that is actually needed um, to survive for bacterial life and is equivalent to even Earth oceans today. So, 
in some sense, uh, what this study suggests is that there are two possibilities for potential life um, underneath Martian surface. One is that Martian life may have started on the surface and then migrated underneath. Um, and we'll hopefully discover it one day with one of the future missions. And two is that it could actually have even originated there because the conditions um, are similar to the oceans on Earth where we believe a life started here. We believe that life on Earth actually originated in the depths of oceans, not really on the surface. And if so, uh, this literally suggests that um, life could potentially have started underneath the surface of Mars, unlike the life on Earth which also then suggests that um, there could be life pretty much everywhere in the universe. So now, uh, following the study and following the analysis um, that was done in this particular uh, study from NASA, we need to essentially create a mission to Mars that, that investigates um, if there is actually something going on underneath the surface, if the conditions are as oxygenated and as liquid as we expect them to be, and most importantly, try to even maybe find some sort of um, signs of life there. And what's more, and this is actually going a little bit more extreme, the study also suggested that um, if all of this is correct and if what we've discovered is actually true, it's also possible that uh, there might be even multicellular life on Mars um, near the polar regions. So in other words, somewhere right here, let's go find the North Pole here. And there it is. So in the polar regions of Mars, we could even have a multicellular sponge-like life, which by itself is mind-blowing. Now, um, there is definitely uh, still a lot of speculation going on here, but it's based on the actual hard science where we studied the rocks, we studied the actual water composition, and we discovered that uh, underground, Mars is actually pretty nice, just not so nice on the surface. So hopefully in the next decade or so, we'll have a mission that will go and investigate all of this. But for now, that's really all we know. And um, I hope that we do discover something unusual somewhere here underneath these rocks. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about Mars from this video. And hopefully now you know that there is still hope for this very unusual, very dry and very inhospitable planet. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Space out. And as always, bye bye. And maybe even consider supporting this channel on Patreon because it does help me quite a lot.